his computer will go up in flames. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, just the way it's gonna happen. Oh, uh, that's not what I want to hear. Please, Twitch. please, please, just take that away. Don't, don't curse me like that. However, we are now locked into the game here. We do have Dark and Dough Gaming, Rockin' Rosso on Nami, Psywave with the Riven, Royal on the TF, uh, No Hado for Lucian and Willow on Shivana in the jungle. And on the jungle, uh, we got Bow Chick Wow Wow. We got Instant Noodle PhD on the Thresh support. We got Bobo Sapien not playing Lucian, playing against Lucian actually. Um, playing as the Vein, as the AD carry, of course. We got the Sky Dragon on his Renekton. Seen his uh, Renekton plenty of times. Done pretty well uh, in the past. Hopefully that's gonna happen again for them here. And then we got, last but not least, Strummer on first time in tournament so far in Italy. Second time. So, hmm? Second time. Second time, really? Second time. Correct. He played it, I do believe it was second to last week of... Quarter one. Oh, I might remember that actually. But he yeah. did phenomenally it, and shut down his mid laner. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was okay. a bad day. It was a bad day. So uh, he has shown to be uh, prominent, but that, this twisted fate—he needs to die. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, twisted fate is a scary individual. True. Now, on paper, both teams, once again, they have the CC. I mean, you have Nami with the wave, the bubble. You have Psy Wave with stun. Royal with a constant guaranteed stun. And then you have Lucian and Shivana that are kind of bringing in the damage, bringing a little bit of disruption. Where Nocturne's got Fear. Thresh has Hook, Flay, Box. Vayne with the Condemn. And then Renekton with a stun as well. Both teams locking the CC, bringing the damage. So, it's going to come down to, once again, these the lanes. And if one lane snowballs, <coughs> Sky Dragon Renekton in the top lane, then we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Just like um, always. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> now, it's it's hard to say. Like, um, you you can definitely see the late game with the Shibana and the Twist of Fate. In my opinion, more more stronger more stronger freaking up more stronger are you okay more you, stronger. your english yeah. is I'm just uh, having a minor stroke it's fine. oh just a minor stroke don't worry i'll be right on over i got you <laughs> um yeah just stronger in general than the renekton and the uh, nidley late game i feel but we've seen what a nidley can do if he gets ahead so this is a it's a uh, yeah i think it's all going to be about this uh, this laying phase and how it's going to go I, I understand, but you're forgetting about the main individual in this game, Cough Vane, the ultimate uh, no, late no, game well, carry. Oh yeah, yeah. That Arguably, is very true. Arguably. But fact. Yellow card on TF has the same range as Vane's yeah, auto attack. This is a big problem for her. It's not like Caitlyn, where you can kite out of the range. She needs to get in range of Twisted Fate. Once he gets a Ravenous Deathcap and a Lich Bane, stuff's gonna hurt really badly, and that two second stun is gonna be too much for a Vayne to handle. And uh, that's when stuff is gonna get pretty uh, nasty. So, we'll see. We'll see. I feel personally that Twist of Fate is sort of a counter uh, to Vayne in the late game. Well. We'll have to see if your money can be where your mouth is. But we saw right off firsthand here with a change in the early Trinket Wards coming out to be 30 seconds now that you can place it. Right then and there, TF, Strummer just, or Royal, sorry, using that stun, just letting Strummer know that he's there and he's ready to play. So uh, we're seeing a pretty standard uh, start the here. There, uh, but we're seeing... Um, yeah, we're seeing people not really going all the time for the bot, uh, for the bot buffs now. Not sure go for the blue because it's pretty, pretty, Needed. pretty natural. But the Shivana, I'm pretty, I'm 
I'm pretty surprised to see her start the blue. But maybe she wants the red for those uh, later levels, which I completely understand. And that's one of the things too, is you want to plan with your team how you want to do it. Do you want to gank bottom early? Do you want to gank top early? Bounce you go on all starting at the blue buff means that he wants to get top lane and try to get Sky Dragon a kill or an advantage in the top lane. Where Shivana, playing a little tricky, is actually going to go and say hello to Bao at the red buff. That's going to be interesting. I do believe there we see Shivana's going to have. And Sky Dragon Badly. duking it out, and there's the pause. Yeah. And Royal disconnecting. <laughs> Happens all the time. Every single time we have seen Team East Coast play and Dark Hiddo, they one person will pause the game. At least, hopefully it's not for a sandwich this time. <laughs> or, a, or a lovely beef meal. Who yeah. knows? A steak, I do uh, believe, was the last time we paused for 30 minutes because yeah. somebody had to uh, get a steak from their mother. That was wonderful. That was not wonderful. That was anti-wonderful. <laughs> I was uh, I was going to uh, just say that this top lane is going to be action-packed. We should definitely uh, look at this lane as much as possible. Renekton versus Riven, as we can see right now. Renekton uh, having the lead. They both have... Uh, no, actually, Renekton has the Doran's Blade, and uh, Riven has... Cloth five pots. So Wait, she does say, have. A, did you say Renekton has a Doran's blade? Doran's shield. There we go. There it's we the go. same thing as Doran's. Very, very. Well, they're both Doran's. They're most both made by the Doran. However, they are definitely different. One is a stabby weapon. One is a shield to block deeps. That is very true. <laughs> so, well, either way, a lot of um, a lot of heal coming in from the Riven there, gonna help her from the initial onslaught of the. Of the scary crocodile here. You can just see there's so, uh, Rosso down bottom harassing out that lane opponent as, as Willow tried to go to red, tried to make something happen against uh, Strummer there, or uh, Bounce Go in the jungle, but did not happen. The thing here though, Rosso can try to play aggressively here, but if he gets hooked, he's in a lot of trouble. Mm. Because uh, Bane can easily get those three silver bolts, and then stuff starts get, getting a bit hairy. So he needs to be pretty careful about how aggressively he plays here. Passive aggressive might be the right way to go. Look at the different action. Oh. I and think we're just gonna see a repeat of what happens every single other time. I don't know, we're looking at Riven drinking down those bottles of health very quickly in the top because she's getting bullied out so hard where Renekton has a built-in heal. He just has to call the Meek. Yeah. So, Nami just doesn't go Oom, I guess. Ah, she went the, um, she went the Mana Potions. Just spamming those abilities as much as possible. That is the style of how he plays. Meanwhile, Renekton locking Riven in the face. Not very nice. <laughs> I think they might actually dive him in the top lane with Bao sitting there and the minions coming up, but there's Instant Noodle going in with the hook onto Rosso. The Silver Bolts, double exhaust being used. Rosso so very low, has to use the heal as Instant Noodle now is oh. going to get baited into the bubble. Can Hudo pick up the kill? He's going in, trying to chase, but there's Bobo Sapien now. Who's showing with his face, but the slow Splash and the Q, blood. double auto attack, the dash forward, first blood is getting picked up from Hado, and he's looking for two, can he get it, he's looking one more auto, but there's Willow, showing up from the back, does not get the assist, as the double will get picked up from Satusi no Hado. Wow, great, great there. Just small plays, like Nami hitting, ooh, tight something. Just uh, a little bit. Just small stuff like hitting the Oh, and there's Psywave using the heal going in onto Sky Dragon who's trying to run away here. So very low does flash and slice. Psywave does not want to continue on here. Or does he? Is he gonna get baited? Window shop and there's the stun counter stun and Psy Sky Dragon outplaying Psywave. So ballsy from that ribbon. So ballsy. Yeah, that could have ended anything but bad. Let's be honest. <laughs> he he won the lane. Uh, and the best case scenario was him 
trading one for one there, and in my opinion, he should have just pushed out the lane and True. kept that dominance. So right now, I think he sealed his fate when it comes to the Renekton. He has a pickaxe. Uh, he's gonna do so much damage. He's gonna do a metric amount of damage with Riven only being able to pick up the Doran's blade and a ward Ooh, to protect herself. That's a big difference. <laughs> Now every lane just farming it out, doing their normal thing, except for of course Bottom, who <laughs> all Instant Noodle PhD has to do is land one hook, and it starts all over again. The plays into the counter plays as we see Sky Dragon getting engaged on into the top, does have his ultimate here, so if he needs the bonus HP, they will not dive him, as Bounchka Wow Wow does wait in the wings, but he is very low and he's going to be forced to go on home. Whoa. As you see Hado landing a clutch hook as Strummer coming in from the mid lane. He does start to take tower so very low with a flash Q execute is gonna pick up the kill as Rosso getting chucked <laughs> down. What a tag team wombo combo fantastically done. The spear into the true damage and that's a kill as Strummer is gonna use heal royal flashing. Can he do it? Uses the ignite goes in underneath tower royal picks up the kill. Will is he be able to escape? There's Bobo oh, trying to chase in. He has the movement speed increase on Vayne. They are gonna continue on to chasing him. Bobo Sapien waiting for that tumble. There it is, one auto attack, two auto attacks. He needs the true damage. The hook is not gonna land and there it is. Bobo Sapien picking up yet another kill. Riven in some, uh, in a pretty sticky situation here too. That nidalee into the uh, Silver Bolt propped Bane auto attack was completely unexpected on so many levels. So you see the Sky Dragon here. Sky Dragon trying to run away as he does get stunned and the exhaust goes down. Sky Dragon is gonna fall. A wonderful play from Shivana and Riven there. Yeah, pretty nice, uh, nice bait coming in from uh, the Riven dude. They're just staying low and uh, looking like a kill. And uh, that's gonna help Riven just to sort of survive the lane. Because uh, we've seen she can't really fight him at the moment. And it's gonna stay that way for quite some time. So the bot lane is, uh, for the most part, the center of attention here. Definitely a lot of stuff going on here. And. There's the bubble landing. And Hado yeah, doing a that nice, nice trade. Damage. Mm -hmm. Double bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets better. That's some double bubble pop. And uh, so right now the Lucian 2-1. As we see the TF Oh, and there's Strummer so going in onto Royal here. here. Oh, yeah, but Strummer's so very low. There is the gold card. Turn around, heal. <laughs> it, it is a battle in every lane. Both players in every lane are super aggressive. Top lane, you can see Renekton diving in onto Riven. Mid lane, Strummer stepping out of the minion line to try and launch spears. And in bottom, both supports are making plays happen. That's very true. Ed. Right now, ooh, we're seeing the amazing clairvoyance getting <laughs> get into getting into play here. That's CV too good. Too good. As Riven tries to just get those those minions, <laughs> trying her best at least. As the crocodile just sort of slides. Oh, there's the body. ultimate coming out from Nami into the box, but Instant Noodle is gonna get popped by the bubble. Great job from Rosso to predict where that flash is gonna happen, and it's too little, too late. Hashtag the culling. <laughs> you mean ring, it's ring? Someone's thing. calling. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> jokes. Oh, it's so, terrible. Um. It's so close, like every lane but top lane, to be honest. Um, that bot lane definitely the center of attention because they're they're both very. Oh, and there we see Royal getting oh, engaged on is gonna get feared and baited around by Strummer. What a a great play! Royal had nowhere to go. He said, "Let me try to kill Nidalee." Couldn't do it. Paid with his life. Yeah, Twisted Fate playing very aggressively, which might be good, but if it doesn't work out, you just gotta play, you just gotta play passively. Get True. those core items and you turn into an absolute beast. Now Chalice, 
TF. That is interesting. He's uh he's looking for the mana generation for constant wave clears, as well as a little bit of magic resist for those Nidalee spears. I guess so, yeah. And I didn't mean to rhyme those. It just happened to come out that way. Uh, you meant to rhyme those. <laughs> You've been practicing on that line for like, I, this entire game. I've been waiting for that moment. <laughs> Seeing some aggressive play coming from the Nidalee here. Strummer showing his dominance. Oh, Going on in, it is going to get out. Oh, Strummer oh. engaging on. The bubble does land the wave as well. It is going to be forced to use as exhaust coming down onto Strummer. That heal is going to give him the movement speed along with the bush to get on out of there. And just bold supports really making and breaking the lane that they're in. Very, very true. Rosso with but no mana. I need, I need to just, uh, just tell you guys how much I'm in love with the splashy animation with Nami's auto attacks. <laughs> it's so cool. They, they made that really good. Are you, Ooh. do you want a mermaid in your life? Is that what you're looking for? Do you want to build a snowman? Uh, no, I want splashy auto attacks in my life. Oh, okay. There's a difference. Oh, as we see Willow, got a little aggressive there. Just, just wanted to go and say hello. And they could be looking to make the play onto Dragon. Oh, TF bleed. Ugh. <laughs> you okay there? You okay? <laughs> uh, uh, TF is very, very aggressive. Are you seeing this Renekton just completely burst the heck out of Riven? It's hard to make note of everything happening. Oh, I was so close. Oh, and there we see Willow. Straight He's gonna be forced today. to run away, but Bobo Sapien cannot land the condemn as the sun coming out from Royal. Bobo wants to go in, but chooses to walk away as Royal now doing a little bit of a 1v1 versus Instant Noodle force oh, the, the flash bush. away. Great play from Dark Hado showing on up as Royal face checking the bush is a no-go. The box is going to get dropped, not going to land on anybody and Dark Hado Gaming going to choose to back on out for good reason as Rosso is going to get engaged on the flash now. Bouncing a while about half HP does use the spell shield to block anything as Rosso gets played on in feared and backed on away. Everyone very low as the calling coming out does not have vision, can't pick up the no. kill. Bobo Sabian with the knockback. Everyone very low. The spear oh. chunking Hudo down. And this is where Team East Coast says, look, we've done good. Let's go on home. <laughs> Such a close fight coming in from those guys. Uh, and this is why I they were in the championships last season. Very true. I do believe Dark Hado called the dragon. Um. Yes, yes they did. Oh, is there's Royal going oh. on in. Does get condemned backwards and just Very as quick nice as that. Enough. That's all you have to do. Yep. You, when you see TF, as soon as he lands, because you can technically condemn and have it be a cued move, as soon as he touches the ground, you're gonna condemn, he's gonna throw the card. You both basically take a step back and relax. Yeah. Oh, but there's Willow going in. Wow. Aren't you Strummer? Yeah. And Strummer so very low. Twin bite, thunderclap. Good night. It's over. Yeah, that actually bursted a nice chunk of his uh, HP there. Shivana out of the blue. Are we going to see the yellow card on him? Bow coming on in. Does dodge the bubble. They don't want to fight. Both teams, they, they have the outer towers. At least for Dark Hado, they can really either start to push as a group or do a lane swap, change things up a bit, and just keep this momentum that they have. The thing I like about this match is it's very, very obvious that both of these teams have a lot of respect for each other. Because they've played a lot of games and they know what these teams are capable of. True. They don't underestimate. They know how these people play, and uh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of respect from uh, both sides here. People not really overextending, like they're they're uh, they're happy with their engages and uh, just sort of passively going through the game at that point. I'm surprised Riven has uh, survived this. Oh, there's a hook going in on a Hado, but Bobo Sapien was not ready for the engage. And I agree, I don't know how this Riven is doing so well in the top here, 
but Psywave leveling up the shield, making sure to reduce any damage that he is going to take, because Renekton knows he can slice, dice, call the meek, lay down the stun, do the damage, and Riven can't do anything but take it. TF also sort of winning lane at this point, which is bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because TF should not win the lane, um, because he is a very bad laner. Well, TF has so, great wave clear compared to Nidalee. Nidalee has to go into her cougar form to clear the waves out as fast as TF can. Two wild cards, true. and it's over. Wave's gone. Yeah. But he, due to him going for the Athenes, he does not have enough AP for one red card and one wild card to completely obliterate. Oh, and there we see Willow. <laughs> These junglers and these players, as you were saying, have played up against each other so many times that they know what they can do and what they can do as we see Rogue getting engaged on it. It's gonna be forced to flash away instantaneously. No. The spear is gonna land, but they're not gonna dive on in as Willow showed up for the fight, but he's gonna be forced to run away now. And that turned very quickly as we look to bottom. Bobo Sapien going in onto Hado. There's the wave that is gonna separate. Exhaust is gonna be used. However, Team East Coast winning out of mid lane exchange and bot lane exchange. Very nice. This TF needs to get his uh, head in the game when it comes to the to the pick a card, though. It's very important that you don't lock in those blue cards. That's oh, not there's what TF showing up into the mid lane. There's Royal going on to Shrummer. There's the stun and the damage. Willow will pick up the kill. Very nice. Now, for an active running way because he knows that someone is coming his way. He knows that he can what, flash, though. Interesting. He did He did not want to get stunned from Psywave into Royal's gold card. That's, I mean, four seconds of CC. You're not going to move, as well as a ton of, ton of damage. So he just figured, better safe than sorry. He needs to remember how strong he is, though. True, he could have easily 1v1'd her. Yeah, but yeah, TF was coming, he was aware of that, but he wasn't that close. I don't think the flash was that necessary as we see him with There's... great confidence coming back. He is a very angry alligator, <laughs> and Riven does not want to get bit right now. Now every lane just doing their thing, farming it on out. This top tower is now down for Dark Hiddo, but they've taken mid and bottom. So the only lane that's really not doing too well is top. However, there we see Shrummer with a nice spear, a double spear as Bobo Sapien trying to go in, needs to get one more auto attack, does counter flash, there's the calling, or the calling coming out out as Rosso is gonna get engaged on, but Willow in the back going in on a bounce, Kawawa using the damage, instant noodle is gonna drop the box, as we see Bobo Sapien taking very low, is gonna kick Royal back, Bow still in a fight with Willow and Instant Noodle. There's Willow picking up the kill. Also, Altigon in his bubble. Sabian is still on. Picks up one kill. They're going to be going on a row. Can he pick up a double? He does. Snipes a double kill as Willow going in onto Instant Noodle. PhD trading double for double. Wow. The, these fights are getting more and more intense. Like, these are all so close. But now. The truth is unveiling itself. Vayne, 5-1-1. <laughs> this is a problem. That's a huge Let's problem. Balance. Yes, it is. Um, Vayne, with that kind of lead, let's wait 10 more minutes, and um, mm, it's gonna get really ugly for them. They Very need true. to shut this Vayne down, or perhaps at this point it's too late. They need to have the CC at least. The TF and the Riven need to jump on this vein as soon as possible and kill her because her DPS is already through the roof. True. And the other thing that they need to worry about is if they start to team up, you have Vayne who's already going to be doing true damage and a lot of it. But you also have Renekton who is a huge frontline tank. As we see Team East Coast trying to go in for the Dragon Willow taking very low. He is going to get feared however he uses the ultimate out. That means it is a free dragon as Bobo Sapien is dominating. Picking up the dragon as well as the kill. And the spear does not land on Willow so very low. The bubble landing. And there's Strummer trying to go in here. Cannot land it. Rosa with a nice body block. 
And they should be able to push down on the mid lane here. Man, all these double bubbles. Wow, this is, oh, this is really risky. They're trying to hold on to the tower, trying to keep it safe. Royal wants to go for the stun, can't do it. There's four members pushing down. Four Our team East Coast. Second tier, though. Makes it. It makes it semi worth it as there goes the wave. Royal with no mana. Picking up some though. As Psywave and Sky Dragon duking it out. The all coming out from Sky Dragon as well as Psywave. They're both right clicking, using the skills. Who's gonna take it? Heal is gonna get used. Sky Dragon is so very low. Can Psywave pick it up? He's trying, waiting for the Q to come out of it. There's Sky Dragon with a turn around. Kill! Slice and dice with the auto attack. Nobody saw that coming. And Riven's going home. A happy camper for the tower, but definitely sad because she's dead along with Instant Noodle in the mid lane. Bubbles are amazing. Spot like, on. Uh, the bubbles are pre pretty uh, awkward to land, but uh, definitely hitting all the scorpions. They got oh, a there's... Strummer showing us the power of that Nidalee, chunking spears for days, as well as being very aggressive in that cougar form. Jumping on in is not afraid whatsoever. That's good. The good Nidalee uses cougar form. Please, for the love of God, use it. It's so good. And, um, you. It, there's more to Nidalee than just uh, casting spirits, you know? There's, uh, there's several other things. And, um, Strummer definitely showing us that we can use that to the most effective way possible. Man, this game is close, though. Very I true. It's it. not like the last game. 16 and 0. It is 10 to 11, gold neck and neck, one dragon simply separates these two teams, and it is looking like he can swing either way. So I'm Seems back. very much so, and right now, we're, we're getting into the team fight stages of the game. True. And uh, I believe the deciding factor will be can they assassinate this bait if she does any major damage? Oh, as we see, Sky Dragon is going to get engaged on from three members of Dark Hado. The Flash coming out. There's the Lantern as well. And Flash down from Renekton, but that's Riven Ultimate down. So they have a little bit of time to make something happen. They do, yeah. That Flash, though, from Renekton removes a pretty scary initiation. Into the, the sort of flash dice. Oh, but there's the double slice and dice. The engage from Bouncing Wow and diving into the back. There's the wave coming out of Rosso, so very low as Instant oh, hooks onto the hill with the flay backwards. He cannot get out of there as Bobo Sabian is godlike, but Willow with a nice knockback from the Dragon's Descent. And everyone very low. The bubble coming out. Bobo Sabian is going to be forced to tank it as Psywave cannot come in there. If he had his ultimate, that was easily going to be a kill. And here's TF just scaring them away, says back off. He does not want to port anywhere. With a little bit of repositioning. Psywave trying to go on in. Willow also. Every member very low, but with Nidalee able to heal him up, this could turn around very quick. I have to point out that TF stunned a minion that fight. Ooh. And it I'm pretty sure it missed them a kill. He needs to be careful, he needs to land these stun cards because, let's be honest, it's a very important part of their team composition. They need that CC. It's... It's a, yeah, it's a very part, very, very important part of their team where if they start chasing, or if they get dove, they need the stun on the main. She needs to be uh, destroyed as soon as possible. 7, 1, and 1, 200 farm, she got the Blade of the Ruin King, and the Phantom Dancer, all the attack speed in the world, those silver vaults are going to proc so many times, and then you got, uh, working towards, uh, either an Infinity Edge, or a Lost Whisper, both just going to enhance her, her damage so much more, it's just getting scarier and scarier at this point. Bobo Sapien showing us uh, the vein, you know, you just need a few kills, and uh, bird scaling does the rest. True. 
Now, one thing to take notice is Shivana did get the Feral Flame, and Nocturne got the Feral Flame. Both absolutely <laughs> shred through minions, but with the recent change to only heal 10 on hit, it makes me wonder if they should have gone with one of the other jungle items. Perhaps they were a bit stuck in the past. Maybe. Uh, fun fact, um, Elder Lizard actually does the same amount of damage uh, in a normal engagement than, um, that a Feral Flak with 10 stacks hmm. has. Right? So, okay. Elder Lizard is looking more balanced now, right? It makes more sense. Feral Flare before, for all the changes, they were better in every single way. And that that's what was the problem, right? Yeah. You can't have and an too much item heal. that's just too much. Like, you can't have an item that's better than everyone. It doesn't work. This might be. This might oh, be a and there we see this noodle. Jones get very low. She's gonna get taken out from Willow, and he was dominating Sidewave in the middle of everything, along with Sky Dragon. There's Nami with a nice heal out. Strummer trying to snipe some people in the back. His magic and Wow is gonna get taken down. They continue this engage. Strummer forced to flash away. Sidewave trying to continue on, but it looks like this is just gonna be a push from Dark Hado onto this mid tower. It's gonna be hard with an Italy though. Not with Spears throws like that though. <laughs> As the bubble come out onto Side Dragon, who is just gonna slice on away? Are they gonna push for two? Have the yes. wave clear, they have it's the like damage. The they have 10 seconds, an alternate has There's a ton of damage going on a side wave, however, they do take the tower as Royal. Taking a little bit of damage. They take the tower, they choose to back off. This could be a counter baron though, from Team East Coast. We're also missing his first bubble in history. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he made up for it in other ways. That wave, when the whole team is clustered in one area, and you can see Rosso laying down the wave on Team they, East Coast. Why didn't they kill that ward? Uh, they're, they're leaving it as a little bit of a gift. Just a gift for them. Okay. <laughs> sure. Are they they should try, try to solve this. Big Riven's trying to snipe it there. However, Bounce uh, Wow Wow not missing the smite. <laughs> the eagle eye on the smite there. Trying He's to no execute same vicious. with the, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Too soon, too soon. Oh. As Rosso is gonna get hooked, fly backwards, but the what? nice dragon descent is gonna break out of the fear and the flay. Somebody call 911, cause Team East Coast just got robbed. Uh, yeah, I've never seen that happen before. I guess Shivana just becomes completely CC immune if she jumps. Uh, I, okay. I, I guess. I, I've <laughs> known that Shivana can get stopped in midair just like Tristana, a flay backwards, anything that hooks, a knockback, you name it, you pretty much stop Dragon's Descent. And uh, I guess we see the opposite here, where if you start doing it, you break everything. <laughs> they finally take the ward. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, I love this match. It, it, like, it, there hasn't been a single uh, part of this game that's been boring. It's just been action, action all the time, and uh, no one-sidedness to speak of whatsoever. Very true. We see, we see now Bobo picking up the red buff. Ooh. There's a Shirelius for the engage, but yet another double bubble <laughs> stops that, <laughs> and. Look at the vein, she's got the last whisper. She's gonna be going either for GA or possibly QSS to get out of that bubble instantly. We'll have to see, but she is the priority target. They need to kill her. Yeah, they do. She is like triple the threat of everyone else on the team right now. And with the red buff, it's just gonna get so much worse. They need that yellow card and they need that ribbon to just on Fane immediately. That's what happened the last game. Uh, no, uh, the last fight. She didn't True. die, but she was moved from the fight. And she doesn't need to die, she just needs to not be able to fight, and that's good enough for them to just keep on pushing. Stun onto the Renekton, and Wildcards are doing some very nice damage, oh. and there comes the Spears. Finally. But Nidalee, very low on mana. 
She's at a quarter man as we see Willow getting engaged on in the back, but there he dives on in as Instant Noodle is taken very low. Bachika Wow Wow now is gonna drop here. However, they're still fighting. Bingo. Bobo Sapien has to get forced out as Sky Dragon gets engaged on from three members of Darkado in the top. Can they pick it up? He's trying to slice on over. Instead, chooses the flash. Whoa, going in on Bobo. No. The bubble. They're shut down. And they're going to be pushing out of this mid inhibitor. Can they close the game out? I think they can. They have a lot of pushing power. And Vayne is not up for 35 seconds. Very, very important. There's Sky Dragon going on in. The bubble does land out of Shrummer. Shrummer's gonna evaporate. Sky Dragon is gonna fall as well. That's an ace. This is gonna be game. That's a GG, my dude. Wow. As we see, Lucian is gonna pay with his life. Go and join his wife in Thresh's Lantern. But overall, he does not mind one bit because his team, Darkado Gaming, picking up the victory here. Wow. I, I don't have words. That was, well, here's the thing, this match was in such nice balance that one thing just sort of tipped it over, and before you know it, the whole side is just tumbling down, and, well, that's what happened. They won one fight, and then they won another one, um, and before they knew it, they started, like, they just got, they snowballed, basically, and, uh... But, but the snowball wasn't massive. Like, the, the fight wasn't a roll. They needed to be very cautious about how they actually started that fight. Like, um, they made they made them initiate on the Shibana, which was a very good start to the fight. And you saw the Riven, who basically bursted down three very important targets, mm. while Vayne was completely split from the entire team. And uh, just overall a very well-fought, uh, last fight there. So, yeah. Well True. played. And this is where we said if it gets to the late game, I mean, Vayne is going to be a huge threat. What did they do? They took down the threat. They engaged, and it was it was just an odd engage. Willow was in the back, and they tried to kill him. They blew a lot of cooldowns. Anna, but only to bait in they, yeah, everyone what? else to fight. Yeah, Shivana definitely made it seem like she was getting caught. In reality, she didn't. No. And she, she jumped over the wall mm -hmm. and let Riven do her job. That's what happened. And uh, it worked out. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned previously, all while that was happening, three targets just being pinned down by the Riven, Vayne was by herself with Thresh, I believe. Yep. And Thresh is not enough uh, protection against uh, a lot of champions that want you dead. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. Say that way.